All right, we're back here in the basement here. Um, been working on the Lady Kenmore Portable. Um, as I posted in the forum, I've had a problem with the tub leaning forward, um, especially when you put water in it. It seemed to have much more of a problem with it. Um, so I decided to tear it down finally. And after talking to um, a good friend, John, who I would also like to thank in, the, uh, in this video, um, he actually gave me a little bit of... Uh, motivation to take this apart after we had a little conversation about how they really weren't that bad. Um, so I went on and took it apart and as you can see, um, mind you this is the horrible camera, but this gives you just, it's just a standing chassis. Now John, good old John, does all his ideas and he suggested something I thought was pretty cool. Um, he mentioned that some of these belt drive models um, had a really long harness cord in them. And I thought that was really strange. And then I realized when he mentioned it all sort of came together here, you can actually set the chassis and the cabinet side by side. And I'll demonstrate here. The thing actually works. I mean, how cool is that? And you can see all the little goodies going around in here. Uh, actually, you can't because, you know, $30 piece of crap camera. But anyway, I've got the safety switch wired open over here. Anyway, I just wanted to film this little video to demonstrate um, for anyone who's ever <clears throat> owned one of these little guys, and they're great, um, how easy they actually are to service. You have uh, six base screws that go around uh, the outside of the case, and they're right here. Um, and you basically just unhook the uh, fill tube from the inlet valve and then this is the drain hose on the floor which is probably the hardest thing to deal with at first until you realize how it goes together and then it's not bad at all um, when you situate the cabinet next to it like this facing the uh, side of the chassis there's enough room for the uh, the water fill uh, the pressure switch tube and the main harness which is very long and now I completely understand why it is and one of the things I never understood about these um, especially since I use it so much I didn't want to risk tearing it up um, I didn't really pay attention to the fact that these are all you know little connectors in here which is really good because I'm used to the Hoovers and some of the really old stuff and they don't have connectors they have just you know single like spade connector wires um, and then the inlet valve you just undo it there and it's actually part of this harness so you don't even have to worry about it the only thing you have to undo is take the top off uh, unscrew a couple ground cords and I also found out that these little clips here that's all that is it's, it's a cabinet clip um, it's one of these little guys they're the perfect size for the perfect size for the spade connector to go in for these. Uh, this, this is the uh, lid switch. Now you kind of have to be careful with that that it doesn't touch metal. But yeah, I just wanted to film this. This is really cool. Um, this is basically a freestanding chassis washer, and you can sort of see. And this thing is so horribly dark, but this is my problem. It looks like the front spring of this machine is just weak. It's actually leaning slightly to the right and when I press on it it compresses really easy and wants to lean forward. Now this washer is on a slight incline right now but it's also an empty washer and it should not give uh, that much I don't think. Now maybe someone will correct me on this. Oh and also uh, where is it here? Yeah you can't see it but this somebody left a quarter inch wrench inside the machine which was kind of it was kind of funny too. Anyway, that's my little video um, and I've got plenty of pictures and I'm going to make a post on this um, if I haven't already when I post this video. Um, it's very, I'll try to make it as form informative as I can. Uh, there's been some discussion in the past about these um, uh, with Laundress and uh, Norfolk Southern. I think they both have one. Um, getting the parts not hard at all and frankly I wish I had sat down and figured this out a lot sooner. Um, this thing could possibly use a belt, but aside from that, I've seen nothing wrong. So thanks uh, for watching.